Chase Fleet Hockey with the Blue Futon out of the box or out of the wall, whatever you want to call it. You know what it is. Getting ready for the sixth one. We have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 4K. This is blue right here in the steel book. When I first watched this movie in Portugal, I did not like this movie and I didn't watch it ever again. Now we are watching it again. Prepare for the sixth one. Is this Fallen Kingdom still fallen? Or did it rise from the ashes from the volcano? Let's find out. So Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, what's about the very simple premise actually. That theme park, remember from Jurassic World? Well, apparently there was a volcano on it. Who would have thunk it? And now these dinosaurs, they're either going to die or someone's going to try to get them off. But of course, nefarious actors are in play. And are these dinosaurs actually going to be safe? Who's coming back? What are they trying to make this time? So, did I like this movie? Okay, I remember watching, like I said, I watched it in Portugal, I think in 2017, 2018, when it first came out, and I hated it. I was like, this makes no sense. The clone child's stupid. The volcano's stupid. Okay, yes, the writing is still atrocious. This is some horrible, horrible storytelling, horrible writing. But it isn't as bad as I remember. No. So with that, I will give the pauses of the movie first. The volcano scene. Absolutely thrilling. Absolutely a fantastic looking scene. The 4K and the Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. Absolutely amazing surround sound. There is nothing wrong with the Jurassic Park trilogy. Jurassic World is going to be trilogy sound design. There's nothing wrong with it. The directing is fine. J.A. Uh, Brea, he's a Spaniard. Uh, he does great movies like A Monstrous Call, The Impossible. So he also does a great job here with directing what he is given. The acting is great. So all the like the big technical stuff of the movie, special effects, stuff like that, it is a well-shot, well-made movie. But it is the story, the decisions of these characters that just make no sense. So I'm going to try to go from the beginning to the end to give the like the what-the-fuck moments. The only smart person, I think, is Chris Pratt and Jeff Goldblum. Opens up with Jeff Goldblum like, these dinosaurs need to die, or we are going to die as Earth. Shit is not going to go down. Even at the very end where you have the T-Rex and the lion. Who's going to win? Who would have thunk? The fucking T-Rex. So let's continue on to going to the island, right? And the whole point of going to the island is the volcano. Where was the volcano in Jurassic World when they built this theme park, right, from 1997? Let's go with 1997 because that's after the... Or let's go with 2001. 2001 is the third one, so they must have had some stuff saying, hey, let's make this park. Now we're in 2015 when the park happened. That 14-year spam, they just the volcano never existed. No one builds attractions on volcanoes. Usually what happens, like in Hawaii, where there is a volcano... There's a volcano there and people, you know, live around it because that's what they can do with the whole island. And like, you know, you had the Montana's, Mount St. Helens and stuff like that. But there's no theme parks. There's nothing like that on an island. So the logistically of like making a theme park on a volcano, stupid. No one would have put money. No bank would have given loans for that reason. So there is that. Um, Bryce Howard Dallas's Bryce Dallas Howard's character arc changes completely and the character she is with especially that doctor is very annoying and you're just like what are you doing you know what these dinosaurs can do you've seen firsthand that these dinosaurs killed thousands hundreds at Jurassic World but here you are saying we need to save the dinosaurs when you know it's going to happen you take the dinosaurs from the island right and now you're bringing it to another island that just is a random sanction sanction that doesn't exist like, you got to do some research before you're like, we got to save the dinosaurs to this random island that doesn't exist. And you got to think, I'm going to this big-ass mansion. So something's not right here. So there's that little character arc as well. And then when they actually get to the island, it's like, oh my god, you got to at least think for yourself, like, something's not right. Red flag, red flag. And the people on the boat are stupid. When they ramp the truck into the boat, no one notices, even though when the truck lands in it you see people walk behind the truck so no one noticed a truck ramping into the boat okay fine whatever we are in a movie now we're at the mansion you know fast forward a little bit fast forward a little bit how big is this fucking basement yo like there's no way they built this house with the basement 
there, it, it logistically made no sense unless this main guy literally built this basement first saying, I know I'm going to have a basement of cages and the best scientific equipment and have, like, a, the biggest house ever on top of it. This basement has got to be, like, 17 football fields. More than that. It is absolutely bombastically ridiculous. And then let's get to the actual clone child. I want this child arrested for about to kill millions of people. She killed more people than the coronavirus, yo, by clicking that button. They're alive, so I'm alive. I'm like, what? Girl, you just killed thousands, millions, because of dinosaurs that are literally just going to run through Vegas. Be like, yo, um, yo, um, and the military's going to come in like, bomb shit and everything. You just caused a cataclysmic fuck up for the world. Congratulations. Well, there's also you know, like Nick Piggy, like BJ Wong, which with that character, they got the bone, right? How long does it make take to make that dinosaur? Because it felt like it, like the timeline was like super fucking quick of like B, uh, D's Wong character, like making the dinosaur and like the prototype dinosaur in like two weeks. Maybe the timeline there just wasn't, you know, told in the story, but that didn't make sense. And then I was watching the special features. I'm going crazy with this one. And then they were talking about how their best scene is the scene where the dinosaur and the girl is in the bed. This girl was in the basement getting attacked by dinosaurs. She goes into this museum part of the house and she gets attacked by dinosaurs. So her plan is to go to a bed and lay in the bed. That's the plan. Well, other plan she had was going that little carousel thing where food goes up and down the house. But but after being attacked by the most smartest dinosaur ever, she she goes hide. She goes she goes under her comforter. That's that's storytelling now. And then these people gotta be stupid. She's literally in the basement, crawling around the floor, and no one notices her. No one notices her going around the house and just doing shit. Like no one notices it. It was just the storytelling. That is the storytelling is so bad in this one. There are so many plot holes. So many stupid character decisions. You're just like. Someone must have been like, time out. They've, they've got to done a Mark Wahlberg during the happening. They're like going to the director like, yo, this doesn't make sense, yo. What, why are we doing this? But it's a dinosaur movie, so they're like, we're just going to have fun with this one. So overall, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it's the story. The clone girl, stupid story arc. The volcano, stupid story arc. Just There's so much stupid story arcs in this one. You're just like, I could take stupid stories. But when it keeps going, happening, 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 it just shit, it's like, it, ugh. So, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom will receive a 2 out of 5 of Futon, which equals at 40%. I thought I was going to give it a 30%, guys, but technically, the CGI, the technical made, the acting, it's all fantastic. Like, it is a great... That volcano scene is still amazing. And there are some great shots, especially with the long neck dinosaur with the volcano, you know, getting killed. But I guess we don't care about, you know, probably the koala bears that probably died. As well as stuff like that. You know, there was actually real fire in, like, Australia where, like, a shit ton of koala bears died and kangaroos. So I guess we don't care about those animals. We only care about the dinosaurs. And that, you know, that, you know, that PETA group in the beginning. Uh... So anyway, let's see what the correction use scores gave this one. So the critics a 47% with 433 of them. Hot damn. Audience score 48% with over 25,000. Here's the correct consensus. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom adds another set piece packed entry into the blockbuster franchise. Though generally thrilling moments are in increasingly short supply. I mean, I mean yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have to agree with that. I'm done rambling with this one. Dominion, I thought it was going to be a good movie, but the critics are coming back saying, eh, the, who's, who's texting me? Oh, my dad. Anyway, do you agree with my 40, the 47 or 48? Chase out, get the blue futon, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the futon, don't be blue, don't Thank you for watching, have a great day. And one more Jurassic Park movie, and we are done reviewing those for quite some time. So, yeah. Did you like Fallen Kingdom? Am I too harsh? Let me know.